CRS is one of the uh, major international INGOs. We work in about 100 countries across the world. We work on need, not creed. We do a lot of different types of work. We work in emergency response, we work in health, we work in agriculture, but we also work in areas like uh, education and uh, water. So we cover a lot of different sectors and we get to 150 million people over the next three to four years. Geospatial data was something that we did not use very much until the last three to four years. I would say a good example of when it really started to be important was things like the Haiti earthquake. As we came into the Haiti earthquake situation, it was a very difficult situation to operate in. Lots of different actors, difficult internet which had been destroyed. So we worked with a number of different organizations in order to help set up the local internet systems and then use geospatial data in order to be able to organize who was doing what, when, uh, where were the real hotspots in the need for uh, emergency treatment, for food, for shelter, all those sorts of things. And as the uh, emergency rolled out, we used geospatial data to basically organize and help to bring together the very many different actors uh, that were in, you know, working in that space. A situation like Haiti, main sort of geospatial partner is Esri. So we will be working with them on the base maps and then the layer maps that we would bring in. So that will be roads, any sort of assets that were in the country at the time. And then we will be looking at uh, actual agents moving within the communities. And then we would also be looking at geospatial data to show us distribution of products. The work that all of the development agencies, that the governments are doing, that the private sector is doing, is all contributing towards getting to those goals. I think that 10 years ago people thought about these goals as being somebody else's problem. I think nowadays people see them as important parts of just the way that we run our societies. So they're not unknown entities now. And I think the more that local communities start to, to understand these are things that they you know, could really improve their lives, they will be part of the demand that will provide that solution. So I think we're making steady progress. I think it's never fast enough. But, you know, I'm an optimistic kind of person and I think that we are starting to make progress in those areas. And the fact that we have more SDGs now, a little bit more challenging in terms of what is the story that we're starting to tell, because there are 17 things you've got to talk about now. Um, but nevertheless, I think those are all important things and they're all on the agendas of people that are making investments, whether that's from the public or the private sector, uh, in improving you know, the lives of our communities around the world. <laughs>